Welcome to Windfill Farms and part three of the Beewine F7 drone review focused on the app. All right, so this is the basic app. Um, I've got it set up on my iPad. Uh, typically, this will be on your iPhone. I don't, I don't use my iPad when using the drone, um, primarily because it's, it's a little bigger than I want for carrying around, and it uh, only goes to the size of the iPhone. So uh, it's not like it's going to give me a full video uh, recording. So use your phones. Don't use an iPad. Um, so this is the basic interface. There's some prompts before this, uh, which... Um, uh, I kind of went through already. It's basically to say, hey, have you con uh, connected your drone to the to the controller through the Wi-Fi? Um, and um, and it says, make sure you're doing these setup steps. So I've skipped over those and to get just right down to the meat. So what you'll see here is the main interface. Um, you have basically all your support stuff down here, and then you have your controls up here. So we're, if you had multiple types of drones, you could select which drone you're connecting to, and that would um, update your, uh, your settings um, for that type of drone and the, and the controls of that drone. So let's go ahead and go ahead into controls. Um, with this, when you first go into this and you have your controller and your drone connected, you're gonna get a, uh, a prompt to spin your uh, drone horizontally uh, and, and then set it up on its end. So let me, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to take and spin this drone horizontally, and it's going to say, point the camera up and do it again this way. Um, and then that will help calibrate the drones. Um, um, I fell over. Uh, calibrate the drones, um, um, gyro inside of it so that it knows what up and down is. Um, and then there's also a calibration for the camera. Um, and we'll get into that here in a second. So that once you're, once you've got it all done up here, you'll see that you've got, uh, I'm connected. These are power settings. So since I'm not connected to any controller or drone, these are empty. So you'll see those as green when it's lit up and yellow when they're half done and so forth. And then this is your Wi-Fi connection to the actual uh, drone from the controller. And so that's, that's important because if you don't have Wi-Fi connectivity, you don't get video, you don't get video, you don't have controls either. So uh, that means your drone's about to come home. Um, the other piece is these here are your um, uh, special modes uh, that you can get into. Um, but the biggest thing on this that I want you to see is there's a camera and a uh, video sec section here and then also a SD card button here. So when you have an SD card in there, this SD card is going to um, um, either tell you it needs to be formatted or it's uh, loaded. And so if it needs to be formatted, just tap on it and format it right here through the screen. Um, that way it's formatted within the drone and therefore it'll, it'll um, be writable to the drone. Um, you can also go into your pictures down here, your picture log. Um, the other thing I would say is this, these more buttons up here, you can see that the, it's not connected. This is important here. As you're learning, uh, stay in beginner mode and it will only go out about 90 meters or hundred feet. Um, uh, so that you can keep it in eye distance, learn up and down, learn side to side, learn turning right and left. Um, and being able to um, take off and land properly. Uh, that's, that's important. Once you are more confident with it, then I would say turn this feature off, and then you're gonna be able to get out into the 9,000 feet range, um, and then you know, up to about you know, 300, or excuse me, 120 meters, which is probably around five, 600 feet high. Um, uh, I'm, I'm not good on meter translation, so don't hold me to that. And then return altitude, um, that's just a standard return altitude. You cannot exceed your flight height, so you, you can't have it return higher than it went out. So um, that's the biggest thing here. The rest of this stuff is just uh, tracking, you know, how do you want to track stuff, um, your adjustment for your pitch and your roll. Um, and then down here is your unit of measurements. Um, and then 
uh, the, how, how you want your resolution into your SD card. Do you want it in 4K or less? Um, so that's basically the initial controls. That's what you're gonna see when you look at it. Um, this screen also tells you direction that the drone is pointing. Um, and if you click on it, it will give you the GPS location like a Google Maps type of thing would. Uh, and then just click on it again and you can see where you're going. Um, and then it will go back and we can flip it back here. There we go. Um, now this is all on your phone um, and it, you can do all of this as it's in flight. Uh, what you can't change once it's in flight is this mode setting. So once you go out, um, there will be a save button down here. I'm not connected to the controller or anything. Uh, so it's not, um, well, let me see. Yeah, so I don't have a save button down here. You'll have one when it's connected to the controller. Uh, but since it's not there, you won't see one. Uh, so that's just a quick overview um, of, the, of the controls themselves that you'll get. Um, when you have the controller out here, um, this controller, like I said, uh, you start it up by basically pressing once. It says battery, press it again. Now it's powered on. It will try to connect. Um, and you'll see up here where it's trying to connect into the uh, drone. Since the drone's not on, it will not connect. So we'll turn it off. Uh, and it's uh, one touch to see the power level and tap it a second time to power on. Um, hit it once to um, go to uh, power off and then press it again to power, hold it down to power it off. So, um, and then these are your joysticks for uh, height, uh, lowering, spin left, spin right, which means turn the drone. And then this is forwards, backwards, and then this is uh, swing right and swing left. So those are the controls that you have up there. On the back side of this, um, you have the ability to do pictures and, or pictures and video. And then this will actually um, angle the, um, um, let's make sure I get this right. Yep, this will angle the camera down or up. And then this one over here will zoom in and zoom out. These are your antennas for the Wi-Fi to your drone. Um, and then, of course, the uh, holder for your, for your phone. So in a nutshell, that's, those are the pieces that you need to pay attention to and the different control settings. Um, there is a sequence of, of turning these on and off. Um, that sequence basically is turn on the drone. Um, and you do that by hitting this button back here and it turns the drone on. Just hold it down until it, it beeps at you. And then turn on the controller as we talked about. Those two will sync together after about 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Um, then you'll need to go into here once you launch this app. And um, there is a B, B wine. I don't think I have it listed on here. Um, so there is a B wine. Um, there's these prompts. I skip that and get out of that. Confirm. All right, now we're back to the controller. Um, so I, um, the, once you get your controller and drone started, powered on, go ahead and go into your Wi-Fi settings, and there's a B wine uh, SSID that you'll need to select, or a network you need to select and um, that pairs up your app to your controller, your controller to the drone. Uh, so then you can get everything started and, and going forward. Uh, word of caution is always, always, always calibrate your, um, your camera. Um, if you don't calibrate your camera every time, uh, your camera will fall up uh, and it will point to the sky and you won't be able to control it via your your hand controllers. So um, always calibrate it uh, before you start and before you take off flight because uh, you can't you can't calibrate it once it's flying of course. So do that first before you uh, start up your propellers. Thank you for watching part three 
of the BeWine F7 review focused on the application. Please look out for part four.